everyone welcome back to my channel total age a guide to learner here this is Ripona. i hope all of you are doing good so in my last session we had not uh, uh, discussed the last topic that is uh, some important notes on mass media okay uh, so uh, due to the uh, and uh, it happened basically uh, due to Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Total Age, a guide to learner here. This is Shripana. I hope all of you are doing good. So in my last session, uh, we have already discussed some important topics on communication but the last topic that is some important notes on mass media, we hadn't discussed uh, uh, in my last session uh, due to the shortage of time. So that's why in this session, we will discuss only the last topic. Uh, that is uh, mass media and society so and it includes press and print media radio films photos wireless communication and social media uh, and uh, uh, and after uh, that we will discuss some important mcqs on uh, it on the chapter communication okay so if you have missed my previous session so please go and check my uh, description box and my uh, first comment where all previous sessions links which is related to the communications and uh, research aptitude and teaching aptitude all are available in my in this uh, in there okay uh, so i think uh, uh, this session will be a very grateful session uh, to everyone and uh, now going to the main slide and let's begin the session here we can see the first point that is press and print media and it is one of the main uh, or uh, new modern mass media obviously so it's the spread of communication has revolutionized uh, sorry revolutionized so here we can see the first point that is press and print media. So the spread of communication was revolutionized as the printed material could be circulated among the masses. Before the advent of paper and printing, people used to write on rocks, palm leaves, stones, etc. So I think this is clear. Uh, what is uh, what do you mean by a press and print media? So now move on to the next media that is radio and we all know that considering the huge reach of the radio it has been used as a medium for educating informing and entertaining the public radio connectivity is available in remote villages as well so the establishment of radio club in at calcutta in 1923 okay and marked uh, the arrival of radio in india while the regular broadcasting service started in 1927 okay uh, and in 1936 all india radio air was launched when the government took over the radio service the president prime minister the heads of the states preferred to address the people through the medium of radio so radio is one of the most important mass media now going to the third uh thing that is photos and videos so photos and videos can be used for sharing ideas spreading awareness educating the masses for example cigarette packets show the image of lungs affected due to smoking to educate the masses about its ill effects okay uh, so now move on to the next slide and here we can see our next mass media that is films okay so, films are a significant medium for entertaining the audience and these are a powerful medium and have a wide base of uh, audience. Because of its huge reach, it is a very popular medium for educating the masses. People are influenced more by the messages conveyed through movies than by lectures or other measures. Okay, so now move on to the next thing that is wireless communication with the we all know that in the advancement of technology the wireless means of communication have also evolved these include voice calls video calls bluetooth etc and it can be used for sending uh 
sending and receiving messages, photos, videos, documents, etc. Where telephone connection like our landlines are also used for communicating through mobile phones, the geographical barriers of communication have been removed as we can interact with people at distant places easily. So now going to the last um, mass media and which is one of the most important uh, media that is social media. So it emerged after the intervention of the internet okay and it is a very very powerful tool for spreading mass awareness and sharing information and some of the popular social networking sites include, uh, include Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So users uh, can create their profile, interact with friends and even strangers also and uh, make new friends and build connections, share photos and videos, live stream videos etc. And I think this is clear. <clears throat> so, move on to the last uh, mass media and which is one of the most important mass media that is social media. So, social media emerged after the intervention of the internet and uh, it is uh, a very powerful tool for spreading mass awareness and sharing information. And uh, some of the uh, popular uh, social networking sites include Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and users can create their profile, interact with friends and even strangers make new friends and build connections, share photos and videos, live stream videos etc. And uh, we all know that social media can be used in various ways according on what the user wants. Okay. So, business people can use it to expand their customer base by online advertising and campaigning. And educators can use it to share educational content. And government can use to promote its programs and create awareness, etc. So, I think this is clear. So, Lanner, uh, here we will uh, discuss some important MCQs on communication. Okay. So, going to the uh, next slide. So, the first question that is message is transmitted by decoder. Uh, we all know that there are four options for one question. So, first option is decoder, second option is sender, third option is receiver and the fourth option is environment. So, sender. So, option number B is the correct answer. Obviously, message, uh, message is transmitted by only sender. Okay. Now, move on to the next question. Classroom teaching will be effective when uh, the teacher teaches according to the level of students. Now going to the next option that is the teacher entertains students. Third option the teacher strict in class and the fourth option that is the teacher assigns projects to the students. So obviously the correct answer of this particular question is option number A. So the teacher teaches according to the level of students only. Now move on to the next question. Effective communication will make the receivers enjoy it, accept it, uh, pass it on to others and the last option that is I think uh, this is option number D. So think about it. So effective communication will make the receivers Think about it, not enjoy it, not accept it, not pass it on to the others. So, here we can see. So, learner, effective communication will make the receivers think about it, not the enjoy it, accept it and pass it on to the other so option number uh, d is the correct answer that is think about it okay so now move on to the next question which of the following is required for active listening okay physical presence mental presence both a and b that means both physical presence and mental presence and neither a and b that means uh, no physical presence and no mental presence. So, uh, we all know that active listening, for active listening, uh, there is a huge requirement for 
physical presence and mental presence. So, option number C, both A and B is required for active listening and C is the correct answer. Now, going to the next slide. So, facial expression of students relate to which element of the communication process? First option is message, second option is receiver, third option is channel and the fourth option that is sender. So, option number A that is message is the correct answer because facial, facial expression of students basically relate to the message of the communication uh, process and we all know that there are four elements, mainly there are four elements uh, of the communication process, message, receiver, sender and channel and faci facial expression of students basically related to the message the component the component message of the communication process so option number a is the correct answer now going to the last question for this session that is emoticons uh, are used to make chat interesting show facial expression past time or send message in codes obviously option number d send message in codes is the correct answer basically emoticons uh, are used to send message in codes uh, through WhatsApp, through Facebook, through Messenger, etc. and different types of apps, obviously. So, I think this is clear. So, why we are using emoticons, okay? So, basically, this is uh, used to send message in codes only. We are done for the today's session. I hope this session will be a very very useful uh, to you if you like my session so do not forget uh, to like share and comment and please do some support and subscribe my channel for getting more useful sessions I will come again with a new session till then stay tuned thank you to all of you happy learning keep commenting sorry for the background noise